Hello, Indie Warriors! I thought I would try something a little bit different today and just make a damn video. Not everything has to be part of a series, you know, and I could just kind of have fun and do my own thing now that I'm full-time here at iDream of Indie Games. Hope you enjoy it, too. I'm not expecting thousands of views or anything like that, but I just wanted to make something that makes me feel good and I enjoy creating. Not that I don't like doing reviews and other things, but sometimes it's just nice to shoot the shit and find random weird indies. Like when I'm scrolling Steam looking for stuff that I'm going to feature at iDream of Indie games, I come across weird anomalies here or there, and today's topic I want to talk about is Puppet Master the Game. Now, Puppet Master was a film that haunted my dreams back in 1989. That would have made me like, gosh, four or five, I'm dating myself, but whatever. I'm old, and perhaps you are too. I don't know. I'm not here to judge, though. Our analytics say we're all kind of in the same age group. Is 37, 38 considered old now? No, maybe that's like the new 20. I don't know, but I feel okay for my age. Anyways, come on. Some of you gotta remember this bastard on the shelf at a blockbuster or wherever you went for your local videos. It was the horror movie you took a chance on when all the cool ones were rented out. A movie that never quite convinced anyone in Hollywood that it was worth more than a direct-to-video release. Well, screw you, Hollywood. I'll be damned. Enough people made it a financial success to the point where it did inevitably become a cool classic of sorts. Why? I'm not quite sure. I never thought they were amazing movies, but hey, to each their own, and there are a comical amount of sequels to the Puppet Master. In fact, according to Wikipedia, one of the damn things released just as recently as last year. We had Puppet Master 2, Puppet Master 3, 4, 5, Retro, Curse, 10? You get the point. Someone kept watching these, so they kept being created unbelievably. And honestly, the concept was kind of cool. Tiny little freaky puppets running around murdering people. A diabolical puppeteer who brought these little frights to life. Nazi spies, psychics, and this fucking leech lady that just freaked me out and continues to do so today. God, I thought this was out of my brain, but here it is again. Jesus Lord, that's still terrifying. And now we have a video game. Not a good one, mind you, but yes, Puppet Master the Game is currently free to play on Steam, and this game has apparently been in development since 2012. It's an online co-op game, kinda sort of, with a single player mode as well. So how do we celebrate 30 years of Puppet Master, folks? With a bad video game, that's right. But in fairness, I could only trudge through the single player mode for about 15 minutes before I had the hard eject. Part of the problem here is that I couldn't rally up four players to get a damn match going. It wasn't to be. Come on, Puppet Master fans, get it together so I can actually try out the online feature, though. I'm not sure I'm missing all that much. But right from the opening menus of this title, you know you're in for some real indie ass shit. But hey, at least the music's kind of cool and... It reminded me of the movies. I don't know if this is directly from the films. I can't recall, and I didn't watch them before making this video or anything like that. But it did sound similar to the theme and vibe of what Puppet Master was all about. So anyways, I started exploring the Puppet Trunk, which is an option on the main menu of this title. And it does give you kind of a cool history of some of the characters from the movie. But so far, that's unfortunately the best part of the game. As for the game itself, you're dropped into a giant mansion given random tasks to do, most of which involve trying to murder an agent that's walking around shooting at you sometimes or just the wall, or you're breaking statues. You have a few attacks and your characters need to perform an odd boost jump to reach higher areas, which makes it sound like they're shitting themselves or perhaps climaxing. You decide. Maybe they're just enjoying a Reese's peanut butter cup, I don't know. Puppet Master the game does feature some really bad and worthless attacks for each of the characters, but at least they're kinda in line with what those characters were all about. Also, for some reason, every time I take this ass hat down, I go down too. I suppose it's not a surprise Puppet Master the game isn't very good, but this isn't a review by any means. It's also pretty concerning that I couldn't get a match going despite the fact that this game is free, but in fairness it did just come out. Maybe my video will boost a little bit of interest and perhaps some of you will go download Puppet Master on Steam. But yeah, I think I mainly wanted to make this video because it was kind of nostalgic to see Puppet Master again, and I still admire when weird shit gets turned into video games. Just doesn't happen as much as it used to. But I don't know, this is something different for the channel. It's a little bit out of our usual formula. I hope you had fun with it. I certainly enjoyed rediscovering Blade Tunneler and of course, 
Pinhead. God, another one that I really could do without being in my brain ever again. But here we are. Let me know down below if you have any memories or recollection of Puppet Master. And I'll talk to you all soon. Don't worry, your reviews and such are still coming. Heaven forbid you try something different on YouTube. Sheesh. <laughs> but I love you all and keep it indie. Mm.